Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. This is my unboxing of my Mac Mini 2020 M1 chip. Uh, unboxing and, and setup and quick uh, review uh, or first looks, let's say. So um, basically I bought this, this is um, a uh, M1 chip, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, and a 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive. Uh, and it's replacing, believe it or not, this Mac Mini 2009 in the corner here that has lasted me the past four years when I bought it second hand for only seven, I think it was only like 70 or 80 pounds and it has amazingly lasted this long with Mojave Patcher, uh, or no, Catalina, sorry. Uh, but it's finally at its dying point now where it's just, it's too slow to use and iMovie or anything like that won't open bar internet browser and kind of general stuff but anything to do with video and photo editing it just can't handle anymore because i'm guessing because of the patcher and the rest of it wanting uh what is it uh metal graphics so this is coming in to replace it this is the first brand new mac or any mac in the fact that i've ever owned i've always bought secondhand macbooks but i have owned new other apple products but anyway let's get into it uh I'm wondering what I've done with a knife here. Um, if we can just flip this over. Now let's see if these scissors will get it open. Uh, there we go. I think this is doing it. Let's see. Aha, there we are. Okay. Uh, if we can just unwrap this. Sorry for the kind of funny cam camera angles, I'm trying to do my best as I can. There we go. Oh, I've got that lovely cling film off, or, or wrapping as they say. Um, so here we go. Just slide open the top. They always have a good seal on these boxes when you lift them up, almost like airtight for all the Apple products I've had in the years. There we go. And look at that, that is the new Mac Mini right there. We can lift that up. There we are, just put the box to the side there. And here we go. So if I just put the box there. So just as a size comparison, because the uh, Mac Min, the my old Mac Mini isn't plugged in yet, uh, I'll bring it out just to show um, size comparison before I take uh, the wrapping off. Uh, funny enough, uh, this the Mac Mini 2020 is to be is lighter than the old than the old Mac Mini 2009. But what is actually quite interesting of you know first looks is is uh, the old Mac Mini might be heavier, but it's actually smaller. It actually fits in the footprint of the uh, the new Mac Mini. Uh, but anyway, um, you guys are more interested in this, so let's just take the wrapping off. Be careful not to drop this thing. There we go. And look at that. And this is the silver model because this is uh, of the. Uh, black, uh, midnight black almost uh, look one, was uh, only on Intel ones versus they've gone back to silver for their own branding. And pulling off this tape here, um, displays the ports here. There you go, look at that. Oh yeah, there we are. And uh, one thing you can tell in between the new Intel Mac Minis and Apple's M1 chip Mac Minis is the Thunderbolt 2 ports. Uh, you've only got two of them on the uh, uh, Apple M1 chip Mac Minis. Uh, you get four of them on the Intel. And USB 4.0, that is uh, new to the Mac Mini as well. Other than that, that is the Mac Mini. So just before we uh, move up to the uh, setup process, we'll just have a quick look what's inside the box. Uh, Apple uh, paperwork inside your leaflet. I you even get a massive Apple sticker. Uh, if you like those kind of things, I can remember years ago as a kid loving that, uh, sticking them all over the place. Uh, power adapter, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much in that. That's pretty much what's in the box. So uh, I'll get you, uh, join you guys back uh, once I've got it all plugged in, uh, ready for its first uh, power up and setup, and I'll bring you back once uh, uh, I've got it all sorted. So I'll be with you in a sec. Okay, everybody, uh, I've done all the uh, hooking up that need to do. There was a, quite a fair bit of cable uh, management or slash changes. My 
uh, extra monitor on the side there. Uh, used to run off VGA off my old Mac Mini with my main screen here being on HDMI because obviously the, the new Mac Mini for start probably doesn't support VGA anymore, don't know. Um, I thought this monitor is capable of going to DVI, uh, that one there. Uh, so I got a DVI to USB-C cable uh, and obviously my main screen is just connected with HDMI. So I had to do a bit of a cable management change and you know, also swap out the power cable for the one that came with the new Mac because the, the one my old Mac made came with uh, didn't work with this system uh, or wouldn't work with this system more like. Uh, so, here we are, we're going to go for the first boot up. Yeah. Cool. See the big monitor sign, it's got the light on. There we go. That's a good sign. There we go. Cool, so I'm going to go through the setup process now. Um, so I'll join you guys uh, once I've got it all set up to the main screen. Okay everybody, um, so this is the next day of the night. Um, I have now sat, fully set up the Mac Mini for the most part. So uh, just to show you what it's like, um, of how quickly it boots up and a quick uh, quick overview look of what uh, this machine looks like. Uh, I thought we'll do that, so let me just turn it on. Off a deep tone. They've changed the startup tone a little bit compared to the old one, but I don't, I, uh, I like it. I don't mind it. Some people said they weren't sure, but uh, one thing I have noticed though is uh, at least with this, I've noticed no um, Apple logo and it boots up. It just boots up straight to the screen. I don't know if that's just because it boots up super fast. Not sure, but um, here we go. If I just enter in my password. There we go. As you can see, it boots up straight to the top. Um, for whatever reason, I, I think there's something wrong with my HDMI lead uh, because for whatever reason, these little dots come uh, on my screen. But if I give the cable a bit of a wiggle, um, it comes, it disappears like that. So I've got to get a new HDMI cable because there's uh, something wrong with it. But other than that, though, the machine itself, oh, that little glitch from that HDMI cable, I've got to get a new one, but uh, overall, uh, it, the performance of this thing is actually really good. And just to kind of, uh, or what's the word, to show you, you know, how snappy it is, is uh, let's open the App Store from, you know, as soon as turning it on. So just click that, opens up instantly, and it's up. Before, like my Mac Mini or my MacBook Pro from 2011, even when it has an SSD and a RAM upgrade, um, it was still a bit slow of opening stuff versus I think here is instant, like even this WhatsApp desktop uh, application that's actually made for the Intel Mac Mini, but even with Rosetta, it, it even opens that in a fairly um, fast manner, um, considering that it's not even meant to run on these. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall though, can't really uh, blame the thing, it is uh, good quality. Like I said though, um, there will be a proper review of this so this is only just a quick thing just to show it. it's up and working i think there's not really much to show about it yet until i've you know got some proper applications installed and used it for a bit because i've only had it for a uh this is the second day now and i've only just actually turned it on as uh, i have had to uh, do some work today um that hasn't involved this machine um but like I said, guys, this is just a quick unboxing and quick look preview of the machine up and running. Uh, watch out for the, uh, or watch out, look out for, subscribe, uh, comment, like, uh, and what, look out for my review that I will bring up in about a month or two after, you know, giving it a good use, after, you know, giving it a good old use and make sure that I, uh, you know, properly use it so I can tell you exactly what I think about it, the good and the bad. Hopefully there's a lot of good. Um, but there should be a be because I've heard quite good things about this M1 Mac, excuse me, Mac Mini, so um, it should be all good uh, to go. But like I said, I've only had it for a day and I haven't really, other than use uh, the internet browser and watch some YouTube and install some applications, I haven't actually really done much on it yet. But 
I'll come back with you review, review in the next month or two and tell you exactly uh, how I got on with it. But uh, as it is for now, that's all I have for this video. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you in my next video. Bye.